very much. Nice well, to see did you. Did you hear how they cheered when I told them that you beat me out of twenty-four ninety-five? Well, we have uh, naval men in the crowd, don't we? That's right. <laughs> Let's turn this dump over, all right? Yeah. <laughs> How you doing? I don't... I'm you didn't sorry. get a chance to spend any time in the service, I don't suppose. Uh, I wanted to. Oh, they, they said maybe I was too fit. Too fit? Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't get a chance to. But I, you know, I wanted to, of course. Of course. I've of course. always admired the Navy. <laughs> Have and, you really? Yeah. And I enjoy the water as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> I was enjoying a glass before I came out here. It's good for yeah. you. Yeah. Ed, how you doing? Very nice, David. Good to see you. You happy to see me or is that your liver? A joke for Ed. Of course it is. Yeah, just well, a joke for Ed. <laughs> you got that, right? Yes, yeah, did. okay. Anyway, uh, it's, ni uh, it's nice of you to give up part of your Thanksgiving to be here. I mean, thank you, you very you much. Could, you could be home, I suppose, with your with your family and loved ones. Yeah, or... Thanksgiving is actually, uh, I, I guess, my favorite holiday. Oh. And and I told a story last night on, uh, on our television program about uh, a boyhood memory of mine, an actual anecdote from the Letterman family uh, file. Uh -huh. And... Um, it worked so nicely, and it was so uh, warmly received that uh, I thought I'd tell it here again tonight, with your permission, of course. Look, any, any, any story bears repeating. It's okay. good. Yeah, because I have very little material. Well, so... <laughs> it was, I guess I was about 11 years old, back in Indiana, Indianapolis, Indiana. And uh, there's a big naval base in Indianapolis. <laughs> <laughs> want to protect that coast. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my folks, and uh, by folks I mean mom and dad, decided that it would... Uh, be fun maybe one year if we would raise our own turkey and then the following year we'd have it for thanksgiving dinner Good so we went out to a uh, a turkey farm or a, a turkey ranch and uh it, you know they don't come out of a vending machine yeah <laughs> and uh, we picked out a little turkey and we had it there in the backyard and we named it you know we named it gave it a name what do you think what do you not your name no 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 that's right yeah. tom tom yeah. tom it's you tom tom, no. yeah. tom, Tur tom no, turkey ramon of course we named it <laughs> Raul, yeah. <laughs> Raul, Raul the turkey. Tom Turkey, of course. So, uh, and this thing got to be, it was like a beloved family pet. I mean, it would meet the school bus when we would get off school and, and, and walk us back to the house, and, and he would uh, sleep with us at night, and his cute, you'd wake up in the morning with those little peck marks on your forehead. Yeah. <laughs> you became attached, obviously. Yeah, we became attached. And so, um, to make a long story short... Too if late. It, if it's possible at this point, <laughs> yeah, yeah. thank you. <laughs> Uh, when, when, uh, when Thanksgiving rolled around, uh, we could hardly, you know, Naturally. kill the bird, you know. So, um, we ate our dog. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. A warm a little warm. memories. A little yeah, that's a little so bit. It's those warm, warm memories of the holiday that uh, give us all pause today. And speaking of a pause, we're going to take one right now. Too late. But, uh, we're going to be back. Too late. Yeah. Stay where you are, folks. And <laughs> we have Robert Palmer here from New Chronicles. That was a kind of a kind of a touching, touching memory. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, Did you have a happy childhood, all kidding aside, growing up in Indiana? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. it was great. Yeah, I had a good time. Not, not depressed. Not miserably poor or anything no no not no everything was fine why yeah, i just asked that's my job how about you i'm the host was you, you had a good childhood oh yeah, yeah yeah we were not poor but you know yeah i guess rich. the only um um kind of unpleasantness was whenever you know you'd be out uh where well, the car would slip off the jack and bust your foot but that didn't yeah. Yeah. Well, that's part of part yeah. growing up or yeah. actually mom's foot yeah, <laughs> it's, actually, yeah. it's a woman's work yeah i suppose this time of year Aren't you reluctant to leave New York? This is oh, the no. time of year that New York is great. Oh, no, it's nuts now. This is uh, tomorrow. Uh, see, today is Thanksgiving, so tomorrow is the first day of the frozen spit season in New York. So I want to get out of there for that. And uh, I'm happy to be here. And I, uh, I got on uh, a plane last night. We're like an hour getting out of the airport, which is standard procedure this time of year. It's that uh, special Pan Am uh, crying baby express. You have that there? <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> There's this little infant. I love children. And uh, there's a little infant. Do you have any? Uh, no. You don't have any children. But I love, I mean, you can love them from a distance. Sure. I, I, would I would like to have some. Well, you probably yeah. will. Um, uh, so anyway, there's a little baby in the seat in front of me crying a little bit. And, and so, and I think this is cute. Everybody on the plane comes by and tries to cheer it up and help out the parents so the child is, is happy and, and smiling and so forth. And uh, about an hour after we take off, the child finally settles down and is really now kind of starting to visit with everybody in, in, on the plane, you know. And um, so I thought I'd do my share. So the little baby looks squarely at me, peeks up over, over the seat there, and, and, you know, I don't have a lot of experience with kids, so I just did this one thing that I always do. I kind of do like that, you know. <laughs> 
And uh, so the kid will think maybe my brain is locked or something. Yeah. Uh, and it's kind of fun because the parents think maybe there's a problem with the oxygen when they see that, you know. So, <laughs> so, so now, and this is, this is the, the God's truth, the mother sees this and she says in, in a very loud voice, she says, stay away from him, he doesn't like babies. So for the rest of the flight, it's like I'm Gary Gilmore or Ted Bundy or something. Uh, Oh, yeah. It's one of those nights. Yes, sir. Oh, one of those. So, uh, anyway, I get back in, in L.A. this morning, and uh, um, I'm going over the newspaper. I don't get the Los Angeles paper in New York. There's an auto show in town. I guess you'd be going for the oh, holidays. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> there's an ad there. It says, come to the auto show and talk with former Playboy centerfold, so-and-so and so forth. And it gives her name and her uh, month that she was in Playboy magazine. Come and talk with former Playboy centerfold. <laughs> And I said to myself, boy, this is going to be some conversation, huh? <laughs> Hi, uh, me, and, me and my friends really enjoyed looking at your butt. Gosh, it was good. <laughs> what are your turn-ons and turn-offs? <laughs> so, uh, and one other thing now, uh, this is this big case here. Uh, it's some, some kind of a, uh, a landmark decision. There's a doctor in Southern California who has been, uh, I guess, lost his license because he was having an affair with one of his patients. And, and uh, which is good, I guess, but the bad side of it is, I understand the guy really was one of the best veterinarians in the state. So, <laughs> ring rest, I got a little ring rest. You on. got it, you brought, brought that one all the way from New York. Yes, huh? sir, I did. <laughs> <laughs> now, tomorrow night is a, is a big night for you, or maybe not. Uh, let's, let's hope. Let's hope. <laughs> uh, it's a big night for me, but I've been paid, so it's... Uh, uh, you got uh, yeah. money is in the bank. Uh, it's our big uh, holiday film special, and you know what gripes me about this silly network? Uh, and it's, it's no surprise that NBC is number three, but what really... <laughs> I'm sorry, that's the old days. That's right. Number that's one right. now, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, we're on uh, 10 o'clock Friday night. And, and what do you say? We're on uh, after Miami, Miami Vice. Vice. So the most important thing for a show like this is you have a big audience for your lead-in. Miami Vice, right? Yeah. Well, guess what? It's a rerun, John. <laughs> no, it's an old one. And we're... we're um... Well, certainly nice of you to inform the public about that. Well, they that. know. People... You might have sucked some of them in. They might not, have seen, might not have seen that little R in the paper. They make it very small. Yeah, but after these jokes, I can't fool anybody. So... Um... <laughs> So we're on after this rerun of uh, Miami Vice. It has something to do with busting up a drug ring or something. Really? And, um, and we're on opposite. Listen to this over on ABC, Battle of the Network Breasts. So... <laughs> That's tough competition. It'll be a long night, isn't no, it? You'll do well. Who do you... Who do you um, now, this, this is films that people make. You go out and ask people to make a special yeah. little... Uh, video I, I, I think guess. this is a great idea for a show. We have an hour, we have a budget, and we give uh, various people money, and we say, here, take the money and go out and come back with a three-and-a-half, four-, five-minute film, mm -hmm. and we would like it amusing, but other than that, pretty much any topic you select. Uh -huh. And uh, included on uh, tomorrow night's lineup uh, will be uh, myself. I'm in a little one. Mm -hmm. Doing what I do best, overacting. Ah. <laughs> Uh, and uh, Diane Sawyer from 60 Minutes is on. Now, see, I think that's a good choice, don't you? Because you don't see her in any other context. Not really. Yeah, and she'll be on the show. Last time I saw her, she was at the, uh, the Tropicana in the, in the mud wrestling. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, oh, this that's, is, that's, that's very nice. But this is kind of a, this is kind of a stretch. Perhaps the leading right? newswoman in America, and he sees her mud wrestling. Well, well <laughs> uh, yeah, and that's what she's doing. She's got this little thing on. It's covered with mud. <laughs> you, uh, uh, you Michael pay? J. Fox, I'm not done plugging here, John. Oh, Give me good. a break. You have a film clip to, to show us? No, we thought it might discourage people. What? <laughs> no, we don't have a film clip. Well, I just brought the small how can you, bag. How can, you, how can you guest on a television show without bringing a film well, clip? Well, I'm not done telling about the show. Oh. <sighs> Michael J. Fox from Family Ties. Uh-huh. And uh, a smattering of applause. Thank yes. You. <laughs> this thing is going to take gas. <laughs> um... <laughs> You're but I know, I'm serious, I've seen this show, it's, it's 60 minutes, but it goes by like 58. Yeah. <laughs> Michael J. Fox is very funny, did a great film, it's about a three and a half minute piece that he did. And uh, Jonathan Winters is on. Well, you can't do any better than that. Uh, I feel a groundswell here. Don't yeah, it's starting, it's, it's starting to, yeah. it's starting to balloon uh, here. Chris Elliott from our show is on. Paul... Oh, yeah. uh, Paul Schaefer from our show is on with a uh, music video. Yeah. 
and it uh, should be a lot of fun. As you asked say. me, I think your producer asked me if I would do one of those. Yeah, that's right. That? Yeah, why, why didn't you? Well, I knew there, there was a rerun of Miami Vice was on, <laughs> and uh, I didn't want to get trapped into that. But uh, I'm sure it'll be very successful. No, it's going to be a great show, and seriously, you should watch it because there's talk of a nationwide rebate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, folks, we're going to cut away for a second here, and uh, we're going to come back. Robert Palmer's here tonight, and we've got some new little knickknacks back here we'll show you. Stay where you are. <laughs> Set rat trap, as you can see right there. And that little inscription reads, can't poison children or pets. <laughs> oh, great, so now i got to buy three separate products? 